that all humanity was a threat to its existence. The world has been under a nuclear war threat since July 15, 1945, when the first nuclear weapon was tested. The threat of a nuclear war was at its peak during the Cold War between then-Soviet Union and United States. These lost times of nuclear tensions are now back. And this time, the threat is bigger because more countries have these nukes in their arsenal. Let's dive back and see the power of nuclear weapons during their testing. With more than 2,051 known nuclear weapon tests, here are the largest and most powerful nuclear weapon ever detonated on Earth. Ivy Mike Ivy Mike was detonated on November 1, 1952, by the United States on the island of Elyage Lab in a new attack atoll, in the now independent island nation of the Marshall Islands, as part of Operation Ivy. Ivy Mike was the world's first hydrogen bomb and had a yield of 10.4 megatons, making it 700 times as strong as the first atomic bomb. Ivy Mike's detonation was so powerful that it vaporized the Elyage Lab Island where it was detonated, leaving in its place a 164-foot deep crater. The fireball that could incinerate anything around had a radius of 1.8 miles, while causing third-degree burns 20 miles of radius from the center, which it gained just seconds after detonation. The explosion's mushroom cloud traveled 30 miles into the atmosphere, with the top eventually spreading out to a diameter of 100 miles. Castle Romeo Castle Romeo was detonated on March 26, 1954, at Bikini Atoll of the Marshall Islands, on a barge moored in the middle of the crater from the Castle Bravo test. It was the first such barge-based test, a necessity that had come about because the powerful thermonuclear devices obliterated the small islands following detonation. Romeo was the second U.S. nuclear detonation of the Castle series of tests, which were conducted in 1954. All of the detonations took place over Bikini Atoll. Castle Romeo was the third most powerful test of the series and had a yield of 11 megatons. Romeo was the first device to be tested on a barge over open water instead of on a reef, as the US was quickly running out of islands upon which it could test nuclear weapons. It produced far more than its predicted yield, from the predicated 4 megatons, it actually produced a yield of 11 megatons, making it the third largest test ever conducted by the US. The blast incinerated everything within 1.91 miles from the epicenter. Soviet test number 123. Number 123 test was detonated on October 23, 1961. The Soviets conducted nuclear test number 123 over Novia Zemlya. Test number 123 used a 12.5 megaton nuclear bomb. A bomb of this size would incinerate everything within 2.11 square miles while causing third degree burns in an area of 1,309 square miles. Castle Yankee The Castle Yankee bomb was detonated on May 4, 1954, during the Castle series of nuclear weapons tests in the South Pacific. While its predicted yield was 9.5 megaton, the actual yield was 13.5 megatons, making it the second-largest nuclear test in U.S. history. Two minutes after zero hour, the cloud rose to 40,000 feet, the same height of around 32 Empire State Buildings. 10 minutes late, as it neared its maximum the cloud stem had pushed upward about 25 miles, deep into the stratosphere. The mushroom portion went up to 10 miles, and spread for 100 miles. Four days later, its fallout reached Mexico City, about 7,100 miles away. Castle Bravo The largest nuclear blast credited to the United States was detonated over 60 years ago, on February 28, 1954. And it was the first of the Castle series of tests and the largest U.S. nuclear blast of all time. Bravo also went above and beyond its projected 6 megatons, with 15 megatons of fission explosion. 
The devastation had far more reach and destruction than Yankees. The dry fuel thermonuclear hydrogen bomb was visible from 250 miles away in the first second. The first 10 seconds saw a mushroom cloud 4.5 miles across and within a minute, it had ballooned to 9 miles high, 7 miles across until it peaked 10 minutes later at 24 miles high and 62 miles wide, and 114,000 feet into the air. The resulting crater was nearly a mile and a half across by 250 feet deep. The US military's miscalculation of the test size resulted in the irradiation fallout on approximately 665 inhabitants of the Marshall Islands, an island 23 miles away from the scene of a fire ignited by the initial thermal flash. Sailors on a Japanese fishing boat 80 miles away were also poisoned by fallout. It was long been common knowledge that nuclear testing is horrifically harmful, but it was this incident that first demanded a ban on thermonuclear testing. The radiation from the blast reached over 7,000 square miles and caused terrible health to those exposed and birth defects in their children. Soviet tests number 173, number 174, and number 147. In between August 5 to September 27, 1962, the Soviet carried out a number of nuclear tests conducted following the Soviet project K-Nuclear Tests. Of the 78 tests conducted three tests outstood other tests producing a yield of more than 20 megatons of fusion explosion. Test number 173 produced 19.1 megatons of fusion explosion. Test number 174 produced 20 megatons, while test number 147 produced 21.1 megatons. All the tests were carried out at their main nuclear spot over Novia Zemlya. Tests number 173, number 174, and number 147 all stand out as being the fifth, fourth and third strongest nuclear blasts in history. All three produced blasts of about 1,000 times as strong as the Trinity bomb. A bomb of this strength would incinerate everything within three square miles. Soviet test number 219. On December 24, 1962, the Soviet conducted test number 219 in the atmosphere over Novaya Zemlya, via an ICBM. It was a thermonuclear fusion bomb with a yield of about 24.2 megatons and a destruction radius of about 6 miles, making it the second largest thermonuclear explosion in history. A bomb of this strength would incinerate everything within 3.58 square miles while causing third-degree burns in an area up to 2,250 square miles. The Tsar Bomba On October 30, 1961, the USSR detonated the largest nuclear weapon ever tested and created the biggest man-made explosion in history. The blast, 3,000 times as strong as the bomb used on Hiroshima, broke windows 560 miles away. The flash of light from the blast was visible up to 620 miles away. The Tsar Bomba, as the test was ultimately known, had a yield between 50 and 58 megatons, twice the size of the second-largest nuclear blast. A bomb of this size would create a fireball 6.4 square miles large and would be able to give humans third-degree burns within 4,080 square miles of the bomb's epicenter. Tsar was only meant to reach as high as 2.5 miles. They had scaled back from their original plans for a 100-megaton terror, but decided in the end that the fallout would be too great. Scandinavians are surely thankful as the effects on them would have been greater than the blast they saw before their windows broke out. Norway and Finland suffered damage to buildings, but sadly, a village 34 miles from the test site was incinerated. <laughs>